Hello, boys and girls. Um, today for your math lesson 12.5, which is on page 525, we are going to be measuring with centimeters instead of with inches and feet. So centimeters are part of the metric system. And usually when we're measuring in the United States, we use um, standard measurement, which is inches and feet and yards and so on. Um, but oftentimes, and in most other countries, they use the metric system. And um, in, in science class, and oftentimes in math class, they're going to measure with the metric system. So we'll start learning about that today. So centimeters is the other side of our ruler. Okay, so if you're using this ruler, you can see the centimeters are much smaller. A centimeter is much smaller than an inch. Okay, and they're on the other side of your ruler. All right, so on page 525, uh, we are going to skip this part. We're going to go straight inside the lesson. All right, so we're looking up top. Please follow along with me as I read it to you. One centimeter is smaller than one inch. Okay, you can see that on the comparison there. Start measuring from the zero mark. To measure the nearest centimeter, look for the halfway mark. If the object is longer than the halfway mark, use the greater number. Okay, so you can see they're measuring that cube and it goes past one and a half. And the halfway mark is that long line that's exactly in between. It goes past there, so they're saying it's closer to the two. So we're gonna call it two centimeters. Um, and in, in the last box it says, if the object is shorter than the halfway mark, use the smaller number. All right, so they measured that paper clip and it goes just above the three. So they've decided that this paper clip is about three centimeters long, okay? To the nearest centimeter, it's three centimeters long. Now for convince me, you wanna be thinking about that paper clip up there. Convince me is in this box right here. It says, explain how you know the length of the paper clip above is about three centimeters long. Okay, so write me a sentence explaining how you know that that paper clip is about three centimeters long. Pause it until you finish. Okay, now, for guided practice, it says, estimate the height or length of each real object. Use a ruler to measure to the nearest centimeter. So, um, they measured a stapler for us. Their estimate, not a wild guess, but their educated guess was that it was gonna be about 15 centimeters. And when they measured it, they found that they were pretty close. It was about 18 centimeters. So now I want you to do the same for a book, any book you want, decide about how many centimeters it is, you think it is, and then measure it with your ruler to the nearest centimeter. Okay. pause while you're finishing that up we are going to look at the next page for the next four that's exactly what you're going to do for three four five and six again you make your best guess make your estimate and then go back and measure each one and see about how many centimeters is it okay see if you're correct I always find that fun to see if you can guess and get close all right and the more you measure the closer your estimate should be right the more you practice so pause while you're finishing that that will take a little bit and then we'll look at seven and eight number seven Josh estimated that the length of his reading book was about six centimeters, okay? Now, you want to explain whether or not each statement is reasonable. Is Josh correct? Is his book about six centimeters? Why or why not? Number eight, Shay estimated that the height of her desk is about 10 centimeters. Is that reasonable? Does that make sense? You explain why or why not. Pause until you finish those.
Okay. Now, on the back page, the problem solving page, we're going to skip number nine and I will read the rest of them to you. Pause after I read each one to give yourself time to complete it. So, on to number 10. Nick wants to put another pen end to end with this one. How long would the two pens be all together? So you have to decide how long is that pen and then add that number to itself. Number 11. Paul says that a toothbrush is about 19 centimeters long. Sarah says it's about 50 centimeters long. Who is correct? Explain. All right, is Paul correct or Sarah? Tell me why. Pause while you're finishing that up. And number 12, Mary measures the length of her eraser to the nearest centimeter. What is the length of her eraser to the nearest centimeter? Okay, fill that right in. All right, guys, if you hung in there with me, you are all done with math for today. And you can take a couple of days off. Enjoy your weekend.